Hi, my name is Adeline. And my name is Mark. And today we are reviewing The Magic Tube. Ooh, so what's this about? Okay, The Magic Tube. Let me read the description, sure. uh, short version. Uh, magician shows an M&M &M tube. He shakes it to prove it's empty. Okay. Opens up the tube and removes from the inside a special white silk with an M&M &M logo and colorful M&Ms on it. Uh -huh. um, he closes it and gives it to a spectator to hold. Vanishes the silk and the silk reappears in the tube. So okay. that's part one. Part two, the handkerchief is tucked back inside the tube, leaving a sliver of a corner sticking out. Right. Another spectator holds onto the tube and shakes it. Okay. And suddenly there are M&Ms inside the tube. You can hear it rattling oh, inside. Okay. And then you open up the tube, the silk comes out. Now the colorful M&Ms are gone. They're leaving just the logo. And there are now physical M&Ms in the tube. Oh, so this is kind of like you show the silk first, it has M&Ms, you make the M&Ms disappear from the silk and appear inside the tube. Is Something that what like it is? That. Yes, ah, okay. exactly like Sounds that. Sounds pretty actually. cool. So, um, that is the core essence of the effect. However, it does come with four other bonus effects. Oh, okay. Yep. Um, I just need to say though, the last bonus effect, not everything that you need to do prepare this? that no. effect or to, to actually perform that effect is included in here. Ah, so you got to go out and get it yourself. Yes. Okay. Okay, so um, in terms of the uh, difficulty of this, would you say this is something really difficult to perform? Uh, no, this is actually the exact opposite of that. <laughs> okay, so this is really easy, okay. This is really easy for you to perform and in fact, um, I think anyone who has been in magic for just a little while can perform this and basically, um, I think more of, more of the time will be used to getting uh, used to the routine itself and understanding the structure of the routine but not so much in the handling of the slides. Yeah. All right. So, Angles and audience management wise, how, wh what would you say about this? Well, the thing is in the description, a lot of times you're handing over the tube to someone to hold or okay. to shake and stuff like that. So there is a certain level of audience management involved um, with the other bonus effects as well, um, with the exception of the last one. Um, the other three bonus effects also involves the audience. So there is some level of audience management required However, um, for the first effect, most of it can be negated if you are worried by just placing it on the table instead. Okay. <laughs> so instead of giving it to them, you just... Yeah, okay. just place it on the table. Okay. But honestly, um, for someone to actually try to do something, they would have to take the tube and open it up and peer inside. So it's not that easy to... It's, it's, it's not something like you're just flipping you know, over your hand or just opening up your hand, that kind okay. of stuff. So I think it's pretty okay. Angles wise? Um, pretty angle proof, I would angle say. Angle proof, okay. Yeah. So it's 360, mm, pretty much. Yeah. Pretty much, yeah. Okay, so we haven't gone through this yet. What do we get in the box? Okay, so in this product, it comes in this packaging. It's a box kind of package. And inside, uh, it comes with the M&M's Minis Tube. It's okay. kind of a tongue twister here. Uh, M&M's Minis Tube. Okay, that's one. Uh, it comes with two silks, specially printed silks. So okay. maybe you can show them oh. this one. And Ta-da! Ta-da! So there are two specially printed silks okay. of pretty decent quality, I must say. Yep. Um, the colours are not super striking, but it's colourful enough, I think. Mm -hmm. And um, pretty good quality, decent. So that's yeah. two silks. Um, a special little something. Uh, there's something else as well. Yes, a okay. special little something that makes the magic work. And then a little card that comes with the URL and password to the online instructions. Alright. So, you did mention about the quality, but <coughs> excuse me, I did see a little bit of a blemish right here. Mm. Was it like that when it came? Yeah, that's right. Um, most of the stuff were pretty okay, but there was a little kind of like a spot on the uh, white silk with the logo. Yeah. Um, probably it wasn't dry when they folded uh, or something. I see. But um, honestly, I don't think it's much of a thing that you would Excuse complain me. about. Um, yeah. But 
in terms of quality, if you're talking about quality, for example, of production quality of the instructional video, mm -hmm. that would be a Deliver? little bit of an issue. Oh, okay. For me. What do you uh, mean? I think it is um, lacking in some aspects. For example, uh, I am very sensitive to motion, which means basically I get motion sickness very easily. Yeah. Uh, he knows. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, the first thing I noticed was that uh, the camera was bobbing around a little bit so it felt like someone was holding it as opposed to it being on a tripod. I see. Um, so which was a little bit something that just makes it hard for me to watch videos like mm -hmm. that. Um, secondly, which is something that is more, I guess something that would make it a little bit more uh, irritating, I would say irritating, that's a little bit hard to watch, uh, would be the audio. Oh, okay. so, so if you are on headphones, you will get a little bit of a shock at certain points in the video. Is it because of the volume or...? Yes, there's a little bit of an audio fluctuation. I at see. some points in the video, it is actually louder than the rest. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, so if you are bl trying to blast it and understand the instructions, you will get a shock there, yeah. What about the instructions itself? Was it clear or was it uh, hard to follow? Uh, yeah, uh, well the thing is, even though there were the lacking aspects in the production quality, the instructions itself were pretty clear. Okay. So, um, by no means you will be lost or anything like that. In fact, you can follow it pretty easily. And uh, there is subtitle in the video itself. So, Perfect. Yeah, so, if you are worried about the audio, turn off the audio. <laughs> Watch the subtitles. Yeah, so that's pretty okay. Yeah, so back to this again. Looking at this blemish actually made me think about something. In Singapore, where we are, it's really, really hot and humid. I'm not sure whether, like, if we place this together in the same tube as M&M's, whether the colour on the M&M's will come out or not. What do you think about that? Um, it came to my mind as well. Uh, Basically, I guess we have to explain in Singapore, it's hot and humid. It's crazy hot. Yeah, it's like 34 degrees Celsius. So if it is um, in, an, in an air con environment, okay. there's no issue. But if you're outdoors in the humid, hot weather, like in a carnival kind of environment. Family day kind of stuff. Yeah, right? family day kind of stuff. I think that you might want to test it first. Okay. I'll give it a test run and see if um, any of those issues crop up. Yeah. I mean, personally, I wouldn't want to be dealing with melted chocolates or like food colouring on my yeah. hand. And They'll be rather messy. Silks and yeah. yeah. And also on top of that, um, there, there was another concern when I was looking at this particular effect. Okay. Um, I used to do kids and family shows and this is something that uh, I take note of when I'm doing my shows as well. Um, just to share with everyone, uh, if you're producing anything that goes into someone's mouth, edible, a little bit of a thought has to be put in where you need to take into consideration there might be allergy concerns. Yeah. Do you have any allergy concerns? Thankfully, no. <laughs> yeah. So the thing is with chocolates, especially with chocolates, um, it's not just particular to M&M's, but with chocolates, there's always an allergy uh, information on the packaging that says that they might contain nuts. traces of, yeah. yes, exactly, nuts or soy. And those happen to be one of the most common allergies mm. that kids have as well. Yeah. So if you're in an environment where you know the kids could grab the candies or the chocolate to eat or you're going to be distributing chocolate, you might want to um, take note of that and maybe reconsider or just not distribute the mm. chocolates. If it's a birthday party kind of setting, then that's easily controlled. I mean, you can just pass it to the parents. Yeah. Fair enough. So, any other last thoughts? Well, I think as a kids and family kind of act, I think this is a great act. Um, there are not a lot of effects in the market that actually, uh, I guess, More created, for families, yeah, yeah, for families and stuff like that. I mean, you have the generic sponge balls and stuff, but nothing that is created specially for the family. I see. And I think this 
effect kind of fits perfectly in there. Mm. So as if you are a professional who deal with like kids and family kind of market, I think this is a good addition. Um, however, if you are a hobbyist, I think that personally the price point of this is a little bit too high. Oh, how much does it cost? This retails at US $39. Okay. That's $39 and um, I don't know, if I'm comparing it to the general stuff, um, in my mind, the general price point is about 25 to 30 Anything okay. that's a little bit above 30 seems pretty much higher than the average. Yeah. And unless I can use it in my professional repertoire, I would not really want to explore in that sense, something that's just frivolous in that, in that, in yeah. that way. Yeah. So I guess if you're a hobbyist who just wants to perform for family and friends, um, probably not. Mm. I would recommend it more for the pros who are actually thinking of using it as a regular kind of thing. Yeah. And on hindsight, I would say that I would have preferred this as released as instructional videos. Oh, okay. With options of purchasing the extra stuff yeah. as opposed to a like, big package like I that. I mean like this and the uh, extra special something. I'm sure if you're a magician, you would have it already. Yeah, it's I mean, more of these that you, you can't really get your hands on. Exactly right. So it is, I, I felt almost like we are paying in main bulk for the idea and for the silks. I see. Yeah, and um, because of the extra packaging and stuff, it actually adds on costs that I felt was not necessary. All right. Yeah. So that's my review for this. It is not in any way bad. In fact, I think it is a pretty decent and fun effect. Mm -hmm. Um, and I haven't seen something so fun for a while. A long time, yes. Yeah, so yeah, that's my review. So my name is Adeline. And my name is Mark. Well, hopefully you enjoyed this and it brought value to you. See you for the next review. See ya.